Hello, everyone, and welcome to Vlogland. <laughs> so happy you're here today. I have a very special guest. His name is Anthony. My name is Anthony, and his name is Tony. I'm Tony. I'm Anthony. And the reason why I'm Anthony is because I was named after his grandson, Anthony. And I miss Anthony very much because Anthony is in Arizona, in Tucson. No, it's it's Tucson, Anthony. And Tucson. And we're in Ohio, and he's very far away, and we don't talk to him very much because he's so busy with school and out. Okay, so anyway. Well, we're here today to tell you about a very interesting conference that we went to, right? Yes, it was very interesting. We don't know if you know the Society of Children's Book Writers and Illustrators, and they are based in Los Angeles, but they have regional conferences, and we went to one in Cleveland, Ohio, last weekend. It was wonderful. It really was. I mean, as a writer of children's books or an illustrator of children's books, you really need to get to one of these conferences. We had such a wonderful time meeting people who, well, they were in the trade. And wherever we went at that conference, there were writers, illustrators, agents, editors, and everybody was so cordial and so open. And they wanted to talk to us. They they kept asking us all sorts of questions about about our work and what do we do and and it was and I couldn't believe that they really felt interested I mean they showed interest I should say well they would say are you a writer or an illustrator right and and I said I'm a writer and they wanted to know and when they found out that he writes well reimagines reinvents folk tales from Greece they wanted to know how that came about. And well, that was very interesting because they seemed so interested in what you were doing. And I to them because it was reciprocal. I mean, I was able to talk to, uh, at lunchtime, there was a, an agent right to my right hand side. And we were able to talk about why does one become an agent and does, do I, does he need an agent? And, you know, and then on the left hand side was the senior editor at Viking in New York. And she was just so kind and nice and talked to me. And I told her about all the years that I had been spending teaching at the university, teaching children's and young adult literature. And she and I could go on forever because we had so many common friends that we knew or writers and illustrators that we knew about. So it was really quite nice. Yeah, very nice. And uh, the lunch was good, too. <laughs> So, at the Cleveland Annual Conference of the Society of Children's Book Writers and Illustrators, there were workshops and keynote speeches. I, and also you could have done intensive three-hour workshops on illustrating, writing, writing in verse, writing poetry. There were so many possibilities. I decided not to do the intensive. That it would have cost $65 more. And it cost, I believe it cost $180 to attend the two-day conference. And I thought that was really expensive. But what are you going to do? Well, I don't think it was really that expensive considering everything that I got. I mean, really, when you walk down the hallway, there were table tables. And on each of those tables, one right after another, were the illustrations highlighted of illustrators, local illustrators in Ohio, and it was just such a treat to see so much talent. I went to a workshop on, let's see, self-publishing ebook picture books. And this person who gave the work, she was really good. She had examples of the process and what you have to do to format. And she talked about uh, Create Space as a program that you can use to create your own picture book, self published ebook picture book. <laughs> That's a lot to say. And she also did things like show you all the time she had to stop and restart and stop and restart to format it because it was so difficult to do. And I thought to myself after that workshop, uh uh, I, Tony, do not want to ever do a self published ebook. I might want to do another type of self publishing book, but not an ebook 
picture book. It's too difficult, especially because of all the changes you have to make. And she went over and over, and she was quite good. We went to another workshop. We sure did. It was called 10 Tricks to Submitting Your Work by Miranda Paul, who is an award-winning writer. And boy, did she give us some practical ideas, right? She sure did. For example, she said, get to know your market. True, get to know your market. I mean, if you're going to be doing a picture book, you know, and it's going to be a folk tale, who's publishing that kind of thing and where? And are, are they taking unsolicited manuscripts and that kind of thing? So she also did a, a great work with the query letter. That is the letter that you write to introduce yourself and your work to an editor, to an agent, wherever. True, she... She was quite good, and uh, the, 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 the query letter was, was excellent because she said, you know, know, know that you can be brief, but that you can keep mentioning your title over and over again so that it kind of, you know, sinks, in, sinks into the person who's reading about you and about your work. And, you know, what's the length, and what's your target audience, and that type of thing, and is there anything else like it on the market, or are you pretty unique? Well, that's true, you know, really, very unique, don't you think? Oh, sure, you are, yeah, we all, well, we all are, I suppose. But anyway, she said, get hold of the 2016 edition of the Writers, uh, Children's Writers and Illustrators Market. There, I got it. Okay. And that is something that I, that I suggest that everyone who's any, going to do anything in publishing, trying to publish for children, either as writer or illustrator, the, the children's book, Children's Writers and Illustrators Market. She said, also, this is something I did not know. You can practice your manuscript at rateyourstory.org. Rate your story okay? Rateyourstory.org. And she talked, uh, she gave so many practical ideas that we walked away from there with um, thinking, well, what do we have to do next in order to think about publishing? Well, we left the conference on Saturday afternoon in the rain, and I felt encouraged to go on, carry on. It was like the message over and over again was urging us to keep writing and illustrating. Oh, and some of the features I should talk to you about is, number one, you can submit to this conference beforehand. You can submit parts of what you're working on in order to get a critique or response from an agent, editor, or writer, or illustrator. And that was really, really a good perk for a lot of people because you could see that they were sharing their work. I didn't do that because this is my first time there and I wanted to just walk around and feel out the atmosphere and see what kind of a, what kind of a, a, a setting and what kind of people were there, you know. And so next time I would, next year I would submit something for people to critique. The other thing that was very, very interesting was toward the end, they set up a panel of agents, editors, and writers, and they and people had submitted their first pages, whether it was a picture book or a chapter book or, um, let's see, a, a novel, a YA novel or, um, oh, I don't know, just a variety. And so uh, they would choose at random from these and... Uh, People would the 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 the, um, the the panel somebody the panel would share their responses uh, to what they were reading and it was very very insightful. They talked about character development. They talked about uh, you know learning the logic of the way things progress in a story. Or it would just went on and on. It was very interesting to sit there and and, and listen to these critiques because it gave me a lot about my own writing and you know some of the things you need to do to keep to keep the writing. Uh, alive and and sensible and logical, et cetera, et cetera. Well, I think you can tell by our enthusiasm that the conference was a real success for us and that we both intend to go back again and again and again and again. Yes, because there's so much to learn from such good people, uh, interested people. And before I use the word encouragement, and I think that what I am thinking about, because I took copious notes at that conference, I go back and I look and I think, yes, I would, well, we both would like to be successful writers. And so that's what it was all about, is learning the trade, learning the craft, and staying with it, and the discipline that it calls for. I mean, people talked about, you know, when she talked about the 10, the 10 tricks, 
uh, to sending out your work. One of them was, you know, do you go back and do you, you know, do you do you practice with your work? Do you work on your craft and and learn about how other people are working on their craft, et cetera, et cetera. So we like the, well, let me see. Hold on a minute. Now, Anthony, say goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. It was really, really nice to know you. And especially if Anthony Jade Mana is watching this, we hope you like us too. Goodbye. Okay, and now, so what I'd like to do is to show you, here it is. Can you see that? The Society for, the Society of <laughs> Children's Book Writers and Illustrators. There's the address, and that's the email address. And notice the cost. It's, what is it again? It's 95, 95 in the first year, and, and 80, I believe. Yes, 80 annually after that. Thank you so much for listening. Come back to Vlogland whenever you can. And if you're a writer or an illustrator, join up, join up, please.